Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One. All right, we're going to do a kind of a dramatic portrait thing here uh, inside of Lightroom. We're going to do a lot of different things to this. So this is kind of almost a before and after type of thing. So this is the original image uh, taken. Um, well, this is the original out of camera raw image. And here's what we're going to do. There's a couple of issues. Of course, there's this sandbag you can see on the corner of a light, which isn't awesome. Uh, it needs some cropping. I'm going to go ahead and crop it first just because it's annoying. So I'm going to grab the crop tool and kind of crop in there-ish. So look, we're just going all rule of thirds on this poor guy. All right. Um, first thing that I see that I, that's really annoying is that uh, I, I actually do have a beauty dish lightening his face, but it was not bright enough. So we're going to grab the adjustment brush. I'm going to crank up the exposure a little bit with a small brush, and I'm just going to kind of paint in this area right here. In fact, I think I'll paint all the way his arms and I could do a better job here I need to turn on the auto mask it's kind of spilling out there a little bit so let's and it's not going to be quite this bright I mean, just accidentally move the pin nicely done and I'll just get anything that spilled over accidentally there let's try that again okay all right and that is a little let me just get some of this Looks like a little tiny bit spilled out there. Holding the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows to get rid of that. And let's just pull back that exposure just a tiny bit. I just want to add a little bit of fill light in there. All right. So that kind of gets us there. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get the Spot Removal Tool. Now, a lot of people I talked to recently did not realize that you can... Let me set this back to its default. Let's go to like 50. Um, that you can paint with it. It's not just for clicking and getting rid of spots. So you can actually just actually paint more like a healing brush. And then I'm going to try to find a better spot for it. I don't like the spot it chose. Something like that. It's not the most unobvious one I've ever done. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of the post-processing. That's going to give us a little bit of the grunge. We're going to increase the contrast. Now you notice when I do that, it, it makes his face a little darker, so we might have to go back at the end and tweak that. I'm going to uh, increase the whites a little and blacks a little. We're going to bring out the texture in the whole shot using clarity. That's a pretty big thing. It increases mid-tone contrast, but you can see what it does for the kind of adding the grungy, a little bit of the grungy look there. But what I'm going to do is go down here to Effects and grab the dehaze slider. So dehaze is adding another kind of contrast here, right? So I'm going to crank it up a little bit. And now his face is getting dark. The ball's getting dark. The whole thing's getting a little dark, but we'll fix that in just a minute. But I did add about, let's add 20. How's that? Uh, dehaze to add a little more of a different kind of looking contrast. All right. Uh, what else needs to be done here next? I think we're going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and rebrighten him a little bit. Let's go ahead and add a little more exposure in the face because we did get that a little too dark. And now I can, that's that's a little too bright, but we can pull that down just, just a tiny bit. And the other thing I think we need to do while we have the adjustment brush is hit new so I can leave the other thing in place and do something else. I think I need to desaturate his skin a little bit. So I'm going to lower the saturation and just desaturate his skin a bit. Hold on, I do not want the exposure on this new one, just desaturation, so I had to get rid of that because his face is starting to look a little too warm. And let me just take some of the color out. There we go. There and there because it was just getting a little too warm. And then I can maybe pull a little bit more out. That way you still keep the nice crisp color in his, in his shorts, but you don't... Uh, there we go. And then one more thing with the brush. Let's hit new. Double click on effect to zero all of these out. And then we're going to just put a little bit right there on the ball. Ball was getting kind of dark. As you do some of these things, especially contrast stuff, right? So contrast makes the whites whiter and the blacks blacker. It makes everything, the brightest parts and the darkest parts, more intense. And then just to pull his hair out a little new. That sounds bad. <laughs> pull his hair out a little. Double click effect. I'm going to open up the shadows and let's just get a little bit in there and see if I can pull anything out in there. Will I have to go all the way to, yeah, to get anything in his hair? I'm going to have to pull the exposure up as well as the shadows. Okay. The last thing I would do here to finish this off is to go to the radial tool. Oh, yeah. Radial tool. We're going to double click on effect and I'm going to draw a, an oval over him because we're going to make this dramatic now. Something like that. All right. And let me 
bring uh, that, that oval is a little too big. Now remember, we get the choice of of uh, doing having our changes affect what's outside the oval or inside of the oval. By default, it does the outside, so I'm going to darken what's outside of him. And that'll get us there. Maybe even desaturate that a little bit. There we go. And there's our... Look, i got to move the light a little bit. Man, I don't know if his face doesn't need one more little... I think it does. Let's hit new and get, go back to his face. And right in there, i got to brighten it up just a little bit more. All right. So there's... And we started there. And there's our final image after just a like a couple of minutes there. And again, we could tweak it a little and probably tighten this up quite a bit, but I just kind of wanted to give you the basic workflow of what you would uh, need to do to get there. All right, now, if you're into this type of stuff, and I know you are, I know you are, <laughs> go over to kelby1.com. Take the free trial. You can start watching any one of our bazillion Lightroom <laughs> classes right now on the spot. And there is there are a bazillion. And that is, uh, that's the official number, is a bazillion. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>